Hey guys, JV here, and today we've got the solution to one of Valhalla's biggest mysteries. Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell for more videos just like this. Just a couple days ago, I made a video about Noden's Ark and the mysterious Odin runes found scattered around Valhalla. And thanks to some amazing work by Access the Animus and Joraptor, we as a community have uncovered the legit way to unlock Noden's Ark. Once again, this video right here would not be possible without their work, so I've linked all relevant videos in the description below. As first reported by Joraptor, we found a bow, a legendary Isu bow hidden in Valhalla that we didn't know was there first off, and second off, we didn't have a legit way to unlock it. In my video earlier this week, I shared the wild goose chase that I went on, chasing down leads across the game, taking us down to the Roman temple ruins in the forest of Denu in Gloucestershire. Ultimately, that was not the solution to this mystery. Instead, the solution was in the Isu language work that the good folks over at Access the Animus spent so long decoding. As it turns out, the real way to unlock Noden's Ark was to use Excalibur to hit the rock on the lake in Yervikshire at sunset. For a full and in-depth, honestly amazing explanation, I recommend you guys check out Access's video, link in the description below. But for the purposes of this one, let's go through it long story short. By decoding the Isu language, they translated the hidden messages that were on the collector's edition of Valhalla, which referenced a lake. As it happens, Joraptor reported the location of Noden's Ark, which was on a lake in Yervikshire. And like many of you, I was thinking, of course, this has to be connected. Then, upon realizing the Collector's Edition box has a picture of Excalibur hidden in the Raven, it was clear that Excalibur had something to do with this mystery. Now, this is where it gets insane. I am definitely not the person that discovered this, only the one that reported it, but in our video earlier this week, I did this small bit here. I did see a wild rumor that this lake is shaped like Singapore, and <laughs> it is. I mean, it's a crazy coincidence. I don't think there's anything here, but it definitely is shaped like Singapore. And guys, I've never been more happy to be wrong in a video. It turns out this lake is shaped like Singapore on purpose to reference Ubisoft Studio in Singapore. And more specifically, the developer that is responsible for creating the Isu language. As Marco points out in his Access the Animus video, the location of the rock that we need to hit is almost exactly where Ubisoft Studio is physically located in Singapore. Then, by re-examining the clues on the Collector's Edition, Marco realized that we needed to hit the rock at sundown with Excalibur to unlock Noden's Ark. And guys, it's hard to put into words, but I'm just absolutely stunned by this mystery. This is just one of the coolest discoveries that it feels like we as a community truly uncovered together. It was such a cool experience that, yeah, I, I just don't think I will ever forget. And it was cool to play like a very small role. I know I didn't do much, but just sharing this with you guys has been such a fun experience. Now, of course, we still have these mysterious runes around the map, and I wanted to give you guys an update because you sent me a ton of theories, and shortly after posting my last video, you sent me the location of a third Odin's illusionary rune. So here it is in East Anglia. It's near one of the fly agaric mysteries that you can do. And this one is interesting because when you walk over it, it makes a noise. So it's kind of like a humming sound and you can hear a raven in the background. So. I tried so many different things to activate it, things I didn't show you guys in the last video. Blowing my horn on it, pulsing Odin's sight, jump attacking it with Mjolnir or other, you know, Isu weapons, wearing all Thor's gear, etc, etc. Also, because of the raven noise, I tried to see if going up in Sunan did anything. I think I tried that the first time, but yeah, I really didn't get anything. Now that we have three illusory rune locations, I tried triangulating the locations of the three runes, in Photoshop, and that led me to Wandry, this little village in Grantbridgeshire. I went here, and doesn't seem like there's anything here. I went down in this well, and tried whacking a few walls, didn't find anything. There's a little pond here, nothing in the bottom. It's kind of weird that this would be the center of the triangle, just because, yeah, I didn't find anything. 
and a lot of these rune locations are in more secluded areas, not a village. Now, I got a ton of questions about like, why didn't you try this or that with runes? So I decided to show you guys a lot of stuff that I did try the first time, but just didn't include, include in the video. For example, killing the bird in the cave. I didn't include that footage, but yeah, I did kill the bird in the cave. That didn't do anything. Or why didn't I break the nodes, the iron ore nodes around each rune? I did, just didn't show it in the video, and yeah, that doesn't do anything. But as I mentioned, you guys sent me a ton of interesting things, so I went around the world exploring this stuff. First off, Igor over on Instagram sent me this weird pulsing glowing thing in Essex, and this only appears with Sunin. So you go up to this tree, there's a bird's nest there, and only with Sunin you'll see it pulsing gold. And to me, immediately, this makes me think that UB planned for feathers, like that kind of collectible from the previous games to come back. Perhaps this was here in the game at some point. Perhaps not. This is a total mistake. And they, you know, someone, you know, a world designer put this here and just didn't remove it. I'm not really sure there, but there's no more to go on with this one. Then over on my Discord, the elf sent me this post on the Ubisoft forums from Carefree Dude who shared something really weird they found at the bottom of the ocean between East Anglia and Lincolnshire. So if you go to the very bottom, and I have like a phobia of open water, so this was particularly like unnerving for me, you'll find what I feel is just an unfinished part of the map. There's a red area, some white text. You can try and figure out like exactly what this says, but this is not like an Easter egg in my opinion. This is not pointing to anything specific. It's just something that we weren't supposed to see that was unfinished, but hey, it's interesting nonetheless. I got a ton more messages and comments about the Magister Vetus Easter egg, and you guys were finding those triangles with the Roman numerals around the world, and unfortunately, we already know what those are. That's connected to the Magister Vetus Easter egg, and once again, I've linked in the description the video that Access the Animus made showing you guys exactly what that is, why it's there, and how it works. So, as of now, this Odin's runes mystery is still live. We don't know why these runes are in the world, and I've had a lot of you tell me that you're searching around, searching around, trying to find more stuff, but we haven't found anything yet. So, if you're interested in doing that, if you guys see anything, the best place to reach me is through DMs on Twitter, or Instagram, or shoot me a message over on our Discord server. And yeah, I'd love to check out this stuff and see maybe if there's something we can, you know, maybe we can get another clue, get another lead on this mystery. For now, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed, remember to hit subscribe and hit the bell to receive live notifications so you don't miss my next one. Once again, you can follow me on Twitter. I'm at JV on YT and Instagram JV.YT to stay up to date with everything I'm doing here. If you want to chat more about Assassin's Creed and other mysteries in this game, join our community Discord server over at discord.gg slash JV on YT. Links for everything I've mentioned are in the description below. Big thanks to my YouTube members, my ultra fans, Dave, Grass, Deadwalker, Bill, Cam, Jacob, and Cullen. Super fans, Kamal, Casey, Tipsy, Sergey, Tarl K, Ryan, and Tia. Fans, John, Matthew, Spyro, JVO, Level 42, Joe, Lil Man, and Blood Sky. And supporters, Nos, Nightmare, Sung, Taryn, Adam, Blaze, Mr. Hollow, Quickness, Firkin, Abishek, Rivi, John, and Jennifer for supporting the channel. If you want to support me further, click the join button below this video. In exchange for your support, you'll unlock custom badges, emotes, and monthly play sessions with the community. Check the link in the description for more information. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.